In this video, I want to talk to you about a product that's called humic acid. Now, humic acid and fulvic acid are very similar, and they have very similar benefits to plants. In fact, I've read some articles that consider fulvic acid a type of humic acid. Some differences are size. Humic acids are generally bigger, they have a larger molecular mass, they're sold in a powder form, and they also tend to really increase the parts per million when you add them to a hydroponic reservoir. Fulvic acids are generally smaller, they don't have as much of an impact on the parts per million in a hydroponic reservoir, and they are also small enough that they can get into leaves, so fulvic, fulvic acid can be used in a foliar spray. Humic acid cannot get into leaves, you have to apply that to the soil to get the benefits from it. Now, where does humic acid and fulvic acid come from? The store, yes. But, where does it come from out in nature? It comes from a product that's called humus. Now, humus forms out in nature when living things die, they go through this process of decomposition. They break down into smaller pieces, and then the little pieces get incorporated into nutrient cycles out in nature. However, a small percentage of the organic material in these plants and animals, it actually joins together and gets bigger, forms polymers. And these polymers are called humus. So again, humus is not one thing, it's a very general term for these polymers that form during the decomposition in different ecosystems. So the humus is going to be different based on whether it formed in an ocean, or whether it formed in lakes or wetlands, or whether it formed in a terrestrial ecosystem. And so we're going to have different types of humus, which means we're going to have different humic acids and fulvic acids. So one of the things I really recommend is do a scientific test when you start using this. Don't just give it to all your plants and say, oh, they're doing great. Maybe it's the temperature, maybe they just think they're great because you didn't take good notes before. How do you do a scientific test with this? Real easy. If you're growing multiple plants, let's say each one of these boxes here is a plant. Give half your plants the humic acid. You're going to need two water containers. And then after your grow season, compare the plants that got the humic acid with the plants that didn't. If you don't see a difference in yield or growth or anything, don't use that product. You're wasting your money. Now, it doesn't mean humic acid doesn't work. Since humic acids are different organic molecules that come from different types of humus, then try a different product from a different company. Not every humic acid is going to benefit every plant the same. So you need to try these testes out to see if it's really improving your plant growth. If it is improving your plant growth, start giving it to all your plants. Now, what are some of the benefits we'll get from using humic acid? Let's talk about that now. There are many scientific studies that have shown the benefits of applying humic acid to your plants. Number one is since this originated from organic material or organic matter, there are some nutrients in it. So we can directly add some macronutrients and more importantly some micronutrients which are often hard to get to your plants. However, it's not a fertilizer. It is considered a soil amendment. And perhaps some of the benefit of nutrients isn't directly from the humic acid, but it acts as a chelator. What does this mean? It's just a fancy way of saying that the humic acids will hold on to the nutrients and makes them available to your plants. It can also change the nutrients a little bit so they're easier to be taken up by your plants. So one of the things you want to be aware of is look for little bits of burn on the tips of your leaves. The fertilizer you've been adding to your plants, it might start to burn your plants because humic acid makes your plants more efficient at using these. So you might actually be able to cut down on the amount of fertilizer you're giving your plants if you give them humic acid. It physically changes the soil. These large molecules change the soil structure. This means that the soil will be able to hold on water more efficiently for the plants, and the plant roots will be able to grow easier through the soil. Good healthy roots mean you're going to have a good healthy plant. And last, it increases microbial activity. Because these large organic molecules of humic acid are weird shaped, they provide little nooks and crannies for bacteria to grow in. And so if you're providing beneficial bacteria or beneficial microorganisms to your plant, they're going to do better if you also add humic acid. So humic acid has been shown to do a lot of wonderful things for plant growth, but realize that all humic acid is not the same. I strongly encourage you to do a scientific test. Give half your plants humic acid for a couple of growth cycles and the other half don't give it to them and compare the two. You might have to try a couple different types of humic acid before you find the one that is actually the best for your plant. I hope this video encourages you to try using humic acid. It has a lot of potential wonderful effects to increase plant growth. Good growth.